Yo, can you guys hear me? Yo, what is up? Alright, cool, cool. Yo, what's up, Hyperion? How's it going? Sorry if the webcam's a little low. I can't, like, balance it to where it shows, like, my face as well as all the PC parts. Uh, but here we are. Right now, we are about to build a PC. I'm pretty hyped for this one. Um, it's for one of my clients here. So, yeah, let's get to it. Uh, hopefully, this is a great stream. Hopefully, everything plans out. I pretty much use every single... Uh, one of these parts before so I'm pretty familiar uh, the only thing is is with this I always um, have to change the bracket there uh, when I am using AMD but uh, let's get started on this build um, we'll we'll take you guys on a tour for some of the parts that we are using um, and kind of go from there but yeah so first off we have a Ryzen uh, 5 3600 we have six cores um, so this is 12 threads, pretty plenty enough uh, room for my client there. Um, and then we have a B450 MSI uh, motherboard here, uh, the Wi-Fi edition. So um, they told me they didn't need Wi-Fi, but I was able to squeeze it in their budget. And I kind of just said, well, I'll give it to you. Just why not? What if one day you don't have that Ethernet support? So uh, we are going to do that. Uh, yeah, so B450 motherboard perfectly good motherboard i've used it in about two to three builds so that is good for the graphics card they actually told me they didn't really want to game on it but they wanted to be able to do some light editing uh in terms of like photos and videos so i just thought um you know what let's throw a graphics card in there so i got a, a 1650 here super um from msi uh really good um budget uh, graphics card here so that is nice uh, let me know if the audio is bad by the way this is my first time doing like one of these types of streams uh, so if like the audio is a little bit off uh, just let me know um, just so that I know if I need to fix anything I did also throw in some background music uh, just to kind of like set the mood there so it's not too quiet uh, but yeah 1650 super here four gigabytes plenty for what my client wants to do we got this cooler. Uh, they actually don't really need it just because the uh, 3600 does come with a um, stock cooler there. But like I said, I just wanted to make it was in their budget. I was like, you know what, we'll, we'll make sure the performance and the cooling is uh, pretty much there just in case if they leave their PC on for long periods of time, even though I do think the other one would have been perfectly fine. Uh, we are going to build on my mouse pad here. This is actually from the mouse pad company. Uh, for storage, we have 500 gigabytes of M.2 SSD here. Um, so I pretty much asked them how much storage they wanted. They just said that they wanted uh, the PC to kind of boot up a little bit fast here. So uh, we started, we decided to go with M.2 500 gigabyte SSD here. Um, so this is plenty enough for Windows. Uh, perfectly fine with that. Um, so yeah, and then we have 16 gigabytes of RAM uh, overclocked to 3200 megahertz here. Um, fast RAM, especially for the Ryzen platform that we decided to go with today. Um, so this is uh, good here and will meet all of their needs. Um, so pretty excited about that. Um, and then lastly, we have a, oops, let me fix that webcam. Sorry guys. Did not mean to do that. But yeah, so pretty much right here we have a 500 gigabyte, um, 80 plus a gold power supply. So uh, this is actually plenty enough as well for their build and their needs. Um, so yeah, this should be good. But yeah, let's definitely get started. Um, I will be using pretty much my favorite screwdriver. This screwdriver, I've pretty much used all this screwdriver to build dozens of PCs here. It's my favorite one. I love it to death. The only thing is, is I wish it was a magnet. Um, by the way, side note, thank you, uh, Koke, SMF, George, for the Twitch follow. I do appreciate it. Um, Thank you for the support there and following. Um, but yeah, guys, let's get started on this PC. Like I said, I can't find the perfect balance to kind of show my face as well as the parts. Um, so I kind of rather 
uh, use show you guys more of the part to kind of see how it's built rather than just showing my face most of the time I mean obviously a lot of you guys know what I look like um, but yeah yo what's up Koke how are you doing man are you in school right now you can get uh, a magnetizer tool for that screwdriver yeah I know I just been really lazy I just haven't really found the time to uh, pretty much get it here but but yeah let's go ahead and get this build started this one's gonna be a fun one uh, just give me one moment I actually need to grab some backup um, thermal paste even though this does come with thermal paste I just want to be prepared make sure that this uh, build goes as smooth as possible um, so just give me one moment I'm gonna put the be right back screen I will be right back just bear with me here all right guys All right, all right, so I am now back. Um, those of you guys just showing up, I just shared all the parts that we're working with. Um, I'll reshare them again as we go. Like I said earlier, I can't show my face as well as the part, uh, just because this is the first time I've ever done this type of stream here. Um, so just bear with me. Uh, I'll, I'll reshow the parts as I'm putting them together. Just so if you guys want to learn out there, you guys can kind of have like a, a basic understanding of like how it's all done, if that makes sense. Yo, Parable US, thank you for the Twitch Prime. Been subscribed for 16 months. Thank you, my dude. I appreciate it. Uh, but yeah, like I said, guys, I, I'll show you guys the parts. Uh, I'll restate them as I'm building the PC for those of you that showed up a little bit late here, um, just so that we don't waste too much time uh, with the PC build because sometimes it can take a little longer uh, than an hour. Usually I hit the hour to hour and a half mark, so it's not too bad. Um, but yeah, I'll show you guys the parts again as I go. And then a last shout out. <laughs> Shine Bright Gaming right here. We got the jersey on. We have the SB Yeti. This is a 38, 36 ounces, I think. So I'm keeping this by my side here just because you have to stay hydrated and make sure everything is going good. Yo, what's up, Fiorchetta? But first things first, we'll start off with the motherboard. We have the B450 uh, MSI here, uh, Carbon Max Wi-Fi. So let's get this bad boy open. Like I mentioned earlier, my client said they only wanted Ethernet, but I decided to kind of just throw in the Wi-Fi since it was in their budget, uh, just because you can't go wrong. You might as well have both. But yeah, let's go here. So let's take this motherboard out, put this box to the side. Let's get this puppy out. And then once again, we are using the Ryzen 5 3600 uh, for this build, six cores, 12 threads. So we're gonna get this installed. We're gonna get the M.2 500 gigabyte SSD installed right now as well. Um, so this will help boot up that PC pretty fast here. Uh, I actually gave one of my little brother Mikey's uh, um a pc that has this so this is a really good drive here it's pretty fast it actually boots up really fast so i like that and then of course the 16 gigs 3200 megahertz ram so let's get started yo what is up beckham sb yes sb dude sb for life we are doing this for the phase five um but i'll always have sb so let's get this motherboard out we want to set that down now pretty much when I build a PC and I have a fresh motherboard here I always like to peel these off first just because it's satisfying and on top of that I don't want to forget so we got to get that how's everyone doing yeah guys if you guys have any questions just let me know like if you guys have any general questions in regards to like pretty much anything um, but yeah Let's get this one. I think these are the only two across the build. And then let me show you guys what the motherboard looks like for those of you wanting to see. We got some nice heat sinks on there. It does have RGB um, on all over this side right here. There is some RGB that will illuminate. Um, you can turn that off, but I mean, so a lot of people like RGB nowadays, especially for PC builds, because it just makes it seem like more premium. So that's always nice to kind of have. Uh, but yeah, let's get started. Let me actually get a box cutter real quick, um, just so I can open things a lot easier and faster. So give me one moment.
let us go all right guys got the box cutter let me get this set up right here all right so let's go ahead and open up this bad boy boom easy as that just take this out parable enabled follower only mode for this yo what is up you guys are using those emotes this is the free cooler that it comes we don't need to use this um but yeah this like i said guys for those of you just joining this is my first time ever uh doing any stream like this i always just do fortnite cod or valorant um if you guys want to follow just hit that follow um but yeah all right let's get started let's get this cpu out so this is the processor also known as a cpu for those of you wondering now pretty much there's this little tab that we just want to slide out pop that off and then i also have a secondary screwdriver uh, just in case if i need to open anything that has like a little small screw uh, this is what i will use um, once again for those of you guys joining i can't show both my face as well as the parts i want to emphasize on the parts but this is what i look like face cam reveal um, but yeah let's get started here So there's a little gold triangle on one of the corners here. So we're going to match it up with the motherboard there. Linus Tech Tips, who? Hey, man. I actually learned a lot from from Linus. Linus actually taught me how to build a PC. Of course, another handful of uh, YouTubers. Um, but yeah, there you go. We just installed the processor there, so we are good with that. Um, so we'll go ahead and throw this to the side just because we want to free up some space since we are limited to this working station area here. So we got that. Uh, next thing, we can do the cooler. However, I just want to do the easy stuff first. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and install the 500 gigabyte SSD M.2. So I'll just install this real quick. Like I said, I've used it in another build that I've had and it actually uh, helps Windows boot up quite fast here so let's go ahead and get this open oh okay yo what is up g felix beckham who is this pc built for um it's for like a like a family member's friend kind of deal so i uh, just do it for them they decide to go with me to build it for them so that was i was very appreciative um but yeah let me see okay all right so let's get this M.2 installed here. This is actually a very small, it's just a little drive like that, 500 gigabytes SSD, very small and tiny and very easy to install. So let's go ahead and open up this here. Oops, we gotta flip that there. And then if you guys are wondering, I just have random background music, so we're just chilling there, but yeah. Perfect. And then we can actually take this off for the heat sink here. So that is good. Sorry guys, it's starting to rain, so we gotta take the dog inside and he just grabbed some some air foam, which is kind of funny. Um, but yeah, so pretty much for this, you essentially just go to the M.2 slot and then you just kind of push it in like this. Boom. Easy as that, easy as pie. All right, and then we're gonna get the screw again and just reinstall. And then this is pretty much it. It's about to be installed right now. Bam nice and tight in there and we are good hey guys how's it going spamming the emotes nice all right um isaiah if you're still in here can you make sure that it's not an emote mode only just in case anybody has any questions i can use my control on my pc now dad got me a wire nice this this hard drive that i just installed mikey is the same one that i have in the pc that i gave you so it's a fast one i recommend it i like it so we are officially done with the M.2s, so we can just go ahead and put, toss that to the side here. 
All right, let's take a look here. All right, so RAM, we will do the RAM next. Also, too, for those of you wondering what case I'm going to use, um, I decided to do the H510 by NZXT. I think it was perfect uh, for their budget. Um, so, yeah, that is good. 16 gigs of RAM, 3200 megahertz speeds here. We got the Corsair Vengeance, so that is nice. Let's go ahead and crack this open. So the motherboards usually tell you which slots you're going to use for dual, dual channel memory. Um, in this case, since they're only using two sticks rather than fulfilling all four, they can pretty much upgrade later on if they wanted to. I believe it supports up to um, 64 gigs or 128. I could be wrong. Thank you for being... What? Okay, that is a weird... Um, but yeah, so pretty much we're using this, the second slot and the last one here. Um, one of the sides is a little bit shorter than the other. It's kind of hard to tell, but you can see the little like break line there. Um, but yeah, pretty much it just... You just have to look at the motherboard and kind of see which side is the longer side and which side is the shorter. Um, it's kind of a common sense, so it looks like the RAM will be going this way. So we got to pull both sides. And then all you guys do is just, boom, push down. I don't know if you guys heard the click, but there was a click that did occur. Um, but that's how you do it. Here, maybe I can get a chair. Just so I don't have to like slouch every single time. So let me just get this chair. There you go. All right. Can you guys see me now? Perfect. All right. Yo, Hyperion. Thank you for the 100 bits. I appreciate it, my guy. Uh, what did I do with that ramp stick? Thank you. Thank you for that. We're getting closer to our bit goal, which is not up on there, but that's perfectly fine. So we'll do the second one. Push down and bam. We are pretty much done uh, with, with this portion. We just need to add this. Um, and then we can start getting it installed to the actual case, which might be a little difficult there. And if you guys are at school, is it, is it your lunch break right now? So we'll get this. It's your lunch break. Nice. Yo, make sure to keep the stream in the background. Shh. I'm just kidding. If you guys got to focus up, focus up. So that's all good. I'm going to be uploading this to YouTube later on as well. No, you're done with school, Koke? If I can get this out. Also, too, this cooler is a very good budget uh, CPU cooler. It, it is air cool, so it's not water cool, but uh, or an AIO, but it's still a pretty good one. You, you have to give it the benefit of the doubt here. So let me just take this out. And bam. It's a pretty beefy one compared to the stock one that it comes with, but uh, I do like it. Don't forget to take this off. I've seen a lot of people say that they forgot. This is where the thermal paste will go on the actual CPU. And then it comes with a black stock fan, which I think this is the first time I've actually seen it installed. Usually it's like hovering over, but that's pretty cool. I guess I never paid attention to that. Hold on, guys. Let me just move some of this here. PC building over listening to Bluto. <laughs> PC. <laughs> that means you're in class right now. Okay. And then it comes with a little box here for like little accessories. Uh, these are where our brackets will be. It does also give you two other types of brackets if you did want to add another fan to the other side. Obviously, that will help it keep it a little bit more cooler, um, a little bit better performance, but there's that for you. And then we have this bracket. Um, it's kind of a dual, so it does AMD and it does Intel. Obviously, we are going with the AMD platform today, so we will be doing doing it with AMD here. Um, but yeah, there's that. And then this looks like it is a fan splitter. So if I do end up, let's say, getting that other fan or my customer pretty much says like, yo, I want that other fan, um, pretty much I would use this splitter, but we're just using one. The motherboard has it perfectly fine. So we are good with that. Um, yeah, Beckham, yeah. Going to be watching you when I go back to class. All right, sounds good, man. But hey, just focus up. If you need to focus up, that's perfectly fine. I don't mind it. I'll, I'll be uploading this to YouTube anyway, so 
if you guys miss out on a part that you wanted to see you can always go to my YouTube um, can somebody type in exclamation mark YouTube for me so we can get that YouTube link just subscribe below I do have a couple of vlogs they are a little bit older but I'm gonna try to be uploading content guys I just you know I'm almost done with school and I just want to grind but we don't need these so we'll put those to the side we do need these brackets though so let's go ahead and start taking this apart and I believe for this one where we are actually removing the bracket that it does come with so I'll actually do that real quick oh because they're on there pretty tight like really tight so thank you G Felix Hyperion thank you thank you guys Good thing I searched up uh, copyright free music on YouTube so that when I do upload this, I don't have to cut out all the audio. And because Twitch now can get DMCA, so. But yeah, if you guys ever want a PC or want me to build you one. Just let me know. Obviously, you have to buy it. I'm not giving it for free, but just hit me up on my socials here. You can, uh, I believe if you type exclamation Twitter, um, you can go there. I think my Twitter is in my Twitch bio. Um, but yeah, just let me know, guys. And then let me know if you think I should do more streams like this. Um, I can always do that. Actually, Hamaza. Yo, what is up, bro or girl? What is going good here? We got the Dorito emotes. Music is on pretty low anyways. You're good. Yeah, I try to make it a little bit low just kind of to fulfill that like a uh, little noise here. You ship to Africa. Uh, I won't. I don't do international. So sorry about that. I guess just in the States. You down to deliver to Texas? Yeah, I could do it, dude. I, I've done it. I, I'll do it. I don't I don't mind. And for all the builds that I do do for people, I'm very transparent. I'll tell you what the parts are. I don't try to say like you're getting this part and then give you another part. I try to be transparent as possible. So you guys don't have to worry about that. BRB. All right. Sounds good. I believe we are using these ones. Could be wrong. Guys, sometimes I do use the manual. That's just because I forget, or if I haven't used the part in quite a while, I don't remember which bracket goes with which. If you guys are wanting to build your own PC, like, don't be scared to look at the manual. Like, most of the time I don't need it. It's just mostly with the coolers. If it uses a different bracket, I just want to make sure. Um, but yeah, it looks like we are using these ones, so I was correct with that. And let's see, it looks like... It installs just like this. So let me take this wire out. I just don't know if it's inner or outer. Perfect. I know exactly. So it's just like this. Perfect. All right. So we got left and the right side. Now I just need to find those two tiny screws here. I believe this is for AMD bracket. These are a uh, pop cover. So we'll put that. If you can get an upgrade on your setup, what would it be? Uh, personally, my setup, I think I would. I would just want to upgrade the graphics card. I think I would go from. So I have a GTX 1080, I think. Uh, I would probably do. Maybe the RTX 3080, which I am honestly planning on going for just because why not? That thing is a beast. Um, I would secondly upgrade my my CPU, which I don't need to, but I would. Uh, I would probably get the 10900K from Intel um, or a Ryzen 9 3900X, uh, one of the two. Um, but my case, I love my case. I actually really like it. It has RGB. Uh, my cooler is actually fine. It actually keeps my CPU pretty cool and I overclock it. So it's not too bad. Shipping in general is a nightmare. Yeah, it kind of is, guys. Especially international. Like, that is just ridiculous. Like, I'm not even, like, joking when I say that. Like, shipping right now is a little bit ridiculous. Uh, this actually is going to be my first uh, build that I've uh, shipped here. Most of the time I've been able to like hand deliver it to friends or family here. Um, so that's always been nice. But 
let's go ahead and get this bracket set up just because why not I need to find those other screws anyways and then like I said this does come with thermal paste so that is pretty good there free thermal paste So we will get the, we got to get, these are the two screws we're looking for because we need to install these little brackets on the cooler so that that way we can screw it on. Why doesn't it come pre-applied if you're wondering? That is just because, oh, we can actually, no, we'll keep that on there. The reason why is because of the fact that it just depends if you're using AMD or Intel. Obviously, Intel has been one of the popular ones, so that one has been a little bit more consistent in terms of like coolers sometimes they're already like pre-installed with Intel but the game is kind of changing so they're, they're both good platforms here imagine building a PC hi cook yo thank you for the follow thank you guys for the follows I appreciate it we got a hundred bits two follows thank you thank you guys I appreciate it a lot Like I said, if you guys have questions, just let me know. I am going to have to actually remove this fan. Just because I need to install this right here, this bracket. Sorry if I'm going a little bit too slow for your guys' liking. For those of you who do know how PCs are built, just want to take my time here. Make sure it comes out good. Also too, if you guys do decide to ever build the PC, uh, this is something I did have to learn along the way. Uh, but make sure you guys do buy zip ties. So when you guys do do that cable management, uh, pretty much it'll, it'll all be good. But there's our cooler, bam, it is ready for us to go on there. We can actually reattach the fan. Oops, we got this bracket fell off. Bam. All right, so bracket is now on. That is secured there. Which is better, Ryzen 3 1200 or i3 9100F? Ah, uh, that's actually a hard, hard one there. Imagine your name being George, bruh. Highlighted a message. Hi. Yo. <laughs> you guys are crazy. Alright, I just need to see which bracket we are using. I believe it is the wider ones, yes. And where are those screws? The screws are right here. So we gotta snap these screws into place and then we just slide this tab here. Guys, if you guys don't wanna make it like difficult, you can always just use the stock cooler. It already has the brackets for the pre-applied. If I can just get this to snap on, holy. Sorry guys, there you go. So that's pretty much what you do. You just put this little tiny screw into the AMD bracket hole, which are the inner ones. So you just snap them in, then you get this clip and then you snap that on as well so that that way it's pretty much on there uh, pretty tight. It doesn't like move or anything like that. just a matter of getting it to snap so there's two so let me get these other two ones done real quick what games do I play uh, I play a lot of uh, Fortnite and then I would say Call of Duty and then after Call of Duty I would probably say uh, I've been playing I play some Valorant only thing about Valorant is sometimes I don't like to play that game solo just because I like to play uh, ranked and usually solo queuing is not that good so that is why I don't but you guys know the vibes so 
Sorry guys, I'm almost done snapping this in and we can move on. Alright, we got these in place, so let's go ahead and looks like this bracket just came off. So we're gonna snap that in. There is that, and I believe we have to use these here. Yo, Hyperion, thank you for the 100 bits. Hyperion, thank you for writing you. Thank you for the support. Just screwing these on here. Yeah, guys, if you guys aren't following, make sure to drop that follow. This is my first time doing a, a, a stream like this. Just chatting, building a PC, you guys already know. Just installed the Ryzen 5 3600. Wearing the SB jersey on. Yo, whoever whoever typed that, Hyper, uh, thank you for the 100 bits. You're a pretty fast typer, Meiji. This is just the converter here if you want to make sure that they are tight. Usually I can tighten it pretty tight with my actual fingers here. But we will just double check. And you want to apply even pressure, guys. Even pressure so you do opposite ends. That's usually what I do. If you guys are wondering how I learned how to PC build, a lot of YouTube. A ton of freaking YouTube. Alright guys, so we are ready to do this. I want to make sure the cooler is set the way it's supposed to be. So we're going to, boom, mount it like that. So we need to stand up here a little bit. So you're probably not going to see my face, but you don't want to see this anyways. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead. We'll get the thermal paste. On the CPU, we're literally going to apply just like a little tiny like peanut or rice grain. I guess rice grain is a better uh, wording here, but that's pretty much what we're going to apply. Bam. So we got that set. Let's wrap this up. Oh, you know what? I do got to actually take this off again. just because these screws are very hard to tighten. Uh, that's one thing that I did learn with this. Yo, Hyperion, thank you for the 300 bits. I appreciate it. Look at you uh, typing so fast. That's very entertaining. <laughs> Let's go, guys. Yo, by the way, guys, I'm gonna be getting new emotes soon. So if you guys wanna subscribe and not miss out on those, I would appreciate it here. Where's my screwdriver? So we will like I said guys I like to do opposites only thing about this cooler is it has some springs So we kind of have to like push down very hard. Let me try to get this side here. It's very hard to see at this angle, but that is fine. I will make it work. Okay. Hold on guys, I'm going to open this window, it's raining outside, so I want some fresh air to come in so that I don't get like too sweaty or anything like that. Alright, so pretty much I have equal pressure around all of them, or I've tightened them enough to maintain its position. However, I'm just going to tight go all around opposite corners, of course, just to make sure that uh, this CPU cooler does not come off because I don't want 
anybody saying oh it came off so that one is good that one's good this one needs a little bit more tightening that one's good now perfect all right so we are done with this yes sir mikey thank you you had to eat real quick nice nice um yeah let's go ahead we are officially done with the motherboard here um so all we need to do is pretty much um get this fan installed real quick actually let me just do that real quick and then we are going to move on to the case Oh shoot. There you go. Then you just snap that right in and a bam. Then you just want to get this. Uh, this does say void or uh, warranty will be voided if you remove it, but obviously it's fine I'm not gonna keep this paper on there I usually do keep this zip tied this wire here and tuck it under and then we'll just plug that right in BAM we'll hide that wire there and there you guys go we have a air CPU cooler this is the all black edition uh, I think this is like the version 2 so it's always nice um, but yes all right guys so we are done with that let me go ahead and just move some stuff around because we are going to bring the big H uh, or the big case uh, on the table here so let me just push some of these extra parts aside because like I said we do not need them so let me just move this sorry if my face is like zoomed in um, I just have to keep moving back and forth but let us move this Thank you guys for the support, sticking around. Like I said, if you guys have questions, let me know. Thank you guys for the follows, the bits. I appreciate it. If you guys are in school, don't let me distract you. Alright. So we are just going to move these parts aside. We can actually open up the graphics card, just so that that way you guys, for those of you wanting to see, like I said, it's a 1650 Super. The client that I'm building this for did not really need like the best graphics card. He just says he wants something um, pretty much like on the lower end, just because he just wants to use it for light gaming or uh, pretty much like some basic functions for uh, like editing and all that which in this case the 1650 super has four gigabytes with this processor it's kind of like a overkill he'll be fine at 60 fps pretty much anything so let's go ahead and open this up my favorite part of a pc build of course is always the graphics card let's get this opened here especially asus graphics cards and msi i just feel like it's a premium type of thing let's go ahead and toss that box to the side take all this we got the paperwork it's like in a fancy envelope this is why I like quality products thank you card just stuff like this guys you have to be appreciative when companies do this it's better to have a company give you all this extra unnecessary stuff or paperwork than to not have any at all just because of the fact that you want to make sure uh, they value you as a customer that's one thing uh, you always have to go for here is the graphics card it does come in anti-static um, packaging here just because you don't want to get those mild shocks but let's go ahead and move this off to the side let's take this out this graphics card is a bad boy right here so bam this is what it looks like let me actually take off the plastic let me peel this off. This also has the, uh, I forgot what it's called, but pretty much if the 
GPU does not need to use that extra power to keep the fan running. Like if it's not hot enough, it won't run, which is kind of nice. It helps save all of that. Run an ad. Yo, Parabom, I'm going to need you to actually do that for me uh, real quick. 30 seconds. I actually can't because I'm limited here. Or else. But it also has a protector here. But yeah, this is the graphics card. 1650 Super, 4 gigabytes here. Um, GDDR5X, I believe. I forget. Uh, and this is what the top looks like in case you're wondering. It has a little MSI Dragon logo there. So that's pretty cool. But there's that. So we'll set this off to the side. I obviously am going to install uh, the motherboard onto the case now since pretty much we are done with that. So uh, no need for for this yet but I just wanted to show you guys before it kind of gets like bulky here and messy um, but this is the graphics card hype fear cheddar yo fear cheddar this is actually the same style as your graphics card except the only difference is is I think actually no both of these have RPGs obviously yours is the RTX 2070 when I built your PC um, but same style here so that's pretty cool there. But yeah, let's let's go ahead and grab that case. It's right here on the side. So just give me one moment. Let me just kind of like uh, rip it up, kind of do that, um, and I go from there. Uh, Live out 80. Thank you, Olivia, for the follow. I appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. All right, let me go ahead and move my chair here so that that way we can get this case going. Like I said, we are doing the H510 case. Add time pog. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate it, guys. So here is the case. Do you guys see how big this is? Do you guys see that? Thank you, Parable. I appreciate it. So we'll pop this case open. Obviously, the PC doesn't necessarily mean it's this big. There is some foam packaging. Here, let me see if I can actually lower this a little bit. We'll go right there but yeah so we we got we got to use the box box cutter here it is a very useful so we'll put that there Let's take this case out in case you guys are wondering what it looks like so what it looks like it's covered in this foam here to kind of protect the case and then some plastic obviously so that no scratches or anything like that uh, do occur um, but yeah let's go ahead and take this out I'm gonna actually take this out on the side over here just because it is a little bit heavier I hope you guys can hear me still which I think you can because I have it coming out the audio coming out of my mic on my headset oh I just got shocked from the case so that is not good good thing I'm not touching that motherboard hold on guys almost I guess I should have uh, pre-unpackaged this a little bit sooner, but that's fine. Alright guys, so this is the NZXT H510. <gasps> oh, we don't want that to fall. Hold on guys. I knew this was actually going to happen the moment, the way that I set it up, I kind of predicted it. But yes, yeah, so we have the case here, NZXT H510 it has some air ventilation right here, which this this uh, this case actually does come with two fans. Um, they're obviously installed on the on the top and the back here. Um, but I'm actually going to move one of them to the front of the case just to allow some fresh airflow here uh, to occur. Um, this is what the front looks like. It's just all black. It has NZXT down here, but. You guys probably won't be able to see it with the camera um, but yes we're gonna uninstall these two back screws take this off uh, this case does have uh, quite a few dust filters it has one down here for your power supply um, so that's always neat um, but yeah there's a box in the hard drive um, slot here. Uh, this pretty much just comes with all the accessories that you will need when installing the motherboard and stuff onto the case. And then one thing I do like about this case, guys, um, when I started using it, it's actually very nice. It has a bunch of cable management, a bunch. Like, 
cable management guys if you guys don't like ever build a pc it's very hard to maintain that's that is something that i struggled with when i first started building pcs i will admit um, but it only gets better obviously you learn some tricks and tips here uh to get it going but there i am like a minecraft creeper <laughs> all right i'm just kidding all right so let's go ahead and lay this down um let us actually we can actually remove the top case here or the top uh fan case so that, that way we can install it there is a bracket here which is nice of ngxt i will need a screwdriver for it but um but yeah guys we're gonna install the motherboard onto here now so let me go ahead and actually unscrew these fans so that that way we can have a better positioning here so the screws are on the top of the case let me go ahead and just unscrew these. Thank you guys for watching, sticking by. Thank you for the support. Thank you for the follows, the bits. I appreciate it. If you guys have questions, like I said, just let me know. All my socials are uh, down below. Just type in the social you want to find me at ins or exclamation Instagram, exclamation Twitter. If you guys want to order a PC, just let me know as well. I can work with your budget and go from there. Just remember, shipping is expensive and I do not ship internationally. All right, so I did just remove the top fan here. So let me go ahead. I actually do need to turn this so that that way we don't want to knock the face cam as well. Hi, Amberly. How's it going? How are you doing? Are you in school right now? You in school? It's nice to see my sister in chat. Honestly, guys, I appreciate it. Thank you guys for the support. Like I said, if you guys showed up late and you guys are curious uh, to what I did or want to know a little bit more in depth of the part, um, I am going to be uploading this uh, to my YouTube channel, so make sure to check that out. Let me take the case fan out. Like I said, we're going to use this for the front of the case because we want one of the fans to provide fresh air, even though most of these parts will actually not... Um, they, they shouldn't heat up this PC like insanely like there's no like crazy overclocks or anything like that so nothing to worry about there uh, but let's get these screws out so we can install this beautiful motherboard which I do need the IO guys I almost forgot again I've actually done where I've installed the motherboard and I forgot the IO shield so let me show you this is actually in the motherboard box so we have two antennas here uh, this is for uh, the motherboard will be fine by itself with just Wi-Fi but you can actually add these two antennas to kind of build up that strength there um, and kind of go from there let's go charisma is the best yo thank you for your cheddar I appreciate that feedback for those of you guys who don't know I've actually built a PC for cheddar so this is the IO shield so where this gets placed let me actually show you guys real quick it's in the back of the PC. This is where all the little USB ports and all that will go. So you kind of just line it up here. Sorry, I'm doing it at an awkward angle. But you pretty much, it's kind of hard to see, but I'll try to make it work for you guys. Oh my gosh, I can't do it at this angle. All right, you guys get the point. It goes right there. I'm just going to do it over here though. It's hard to see where it's snapping in from this distance. Oh my gosh. It's like I'm blind out here. Got it snapped in and voila. It is now snapped in. There it is in the back, all the USBs, the Wi-Fi ports, all of that. So let me just set this down gently here so we don't knock that face cam. Alright, so pretty much we want to tuck these ports here into that I.O. shield. So we're just going to go down a little bit gentle here. And 
then bam it fits perfect if the shoe fits insert it that's what we did thank you guys for the emote support like I said the NZXT does come with some packaging here so pretty much uh, all the screws we need are found right here uh, but yeah bird eye view please ah, Isaiah you're killing me here dude I only have one face cam Yes, I would, guys. It, how about this? In the in the YouTube video, I'll edit it and show you guys aerial view. But these are the screws that we needed. We don't need this screw. And let me see: three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold on. There's a set of screws. Those are for fans. Voila! I found them. We will need these four screws for the power supply. So I'm going to set these to the side because those are actually very important. Okay. All right. So let us 632 flat. These are five flats. Let's see. I think we're actually going to use these. I think these are it. Where's my screwdriver? All right, it's right here, guys. I found it. So we are going to just screw these on. Guys, I really wish I can get you aerial view. I'm sorry. I, dang it. I, I'm honestly sorry. I wish I could. But I just don't have that setup. That's This is just my first stream. Actually, guys, I think these screws are too small. Where's the other package? Uh, did the music stop? Hyperion has the best emotes in the game. Hey, man, you, you do have some good emotes, but just wait uh, for my new emotes uh, to be released here. You're going to be saying I have the best in the game. No, these screws are too small. Me watching. Thank you, thank you. Hold on, let me... Oh, the music just started playing. So we are good. Bit rate. It looks fine. Excellent. All right. All right, guys. Let me just focus up. Try to get these screws here. So that that way we can move on to the next step. Uh, same thing here guys for equal pressure you want to do opposite ends um, Like I said, I wish I had an aerial view, but just trust me. These are very self-explanatory. So It's pretty easy. There's just little holes on each corner and in the center and this is where all the screws go into place and most of the time the case will come with the screw so you don't have to worry about like buying some extra screws or some something like that same thing with the motherboard the motherboard comes with SATA cables for a hard drive if you're not going to use an M.2 SSD like we did with this one just making sure they are tight Perfect. Sorry if I look funny, guys, with the angle that I'm at. Alright, guys, I'm getting thirsty. SB Yeti, you guys already know. Got to make sure we are hydrated as much as possible. Where's the G Fuel? I actually, a funny story is I already drank the G Fuel less. I actually drank some uh, right before. Like I just, I ate breakfast and then. 
so I, I worked early today, got off work, ate some breakfast, and then after I ate breakfast, like 10 minutes later, I was like, you know what, let's live stream this PC, drank some G Fuel, and here we are. So don't worry, I did, I did drink the G Fuel already. Alright guys, this is the hardest freaking screw to get back in this corner. Okay, we actually got it in. No. Ah, uh, this screw always falls. I'm eating ramen. Nice. Emberly, are you eating uh Oh, where did the screw go? Are you eating the uh, cup of noodles or the one that you cook on the like little pot? How come you don't have school today, Emberly? Alright guys, I'm gonna have to come back to that one. I just keep dropping it. Let me just get this one first. Cup of noodles, nice. Are you eating the spicy one or the regular? What flavor? Yeah, what flavor? Tell us what flavor. Oh, this is the wrong screw. Why did I put this one? What the heck? Almost done, guys. Almost done here. Hold on. I need to actually move this angle here. Just so we can screw this a lot easier. Oops. I got it. The hardest screw to install this corner. I got it, chat. All right, let's go, guys. Let's go. I dropped. Oh, what the heck? The cam. So let me set this down here. Hold on, stream. So we just took this bracket off. Let me fix the camera. <laughs> Guys, we are literally almost done. Like I'm not even I'm not even like trolling or anything like that. We are literally about to finish. Remember we said one intake fan, the side that has the logo of the company, uh, that's the side that it's going to uh the air is going to come from so we're, we want it to intake so we want to have fresh air so we're going to do it this way so let us we'll line up that bracket there we'll get the screws what the heck did i do with the screwdriver oh here it is yes you're trolling i'm not i promise Got one screw. Let's get this second screw going. If he's gonna be there now. Oh, uh, then yeah, that's fine. Huh? You did? Let's go! She got the job, guys. I told you. She's already trying to plan her resignation letter right now. Just kidding. <laughs> My dogs, guys, look at him. Poopy? What? <laughs> that DoorDash came in clutch right now. Yo, what did you get? What did you order? Tell us what you ordered, Cheddar. Did you get that pop in food? Alright, guys, fans installed. Got the wire. We're going to wire it up. Guys, moment of truth right here. We're, we're pretty much done. Let's get this case back up here. 
I'm gonna make sure we don't knock that down. These are all the wires for the case itself. So there's that. Hold on. All right, we are good there. Give me a chicken nuggets, chicken nugs or McDonald's. Bro, did you get the Travis Scott meal? You did, huh? He did, I already know it. All right, Kobe, Kobe is like that, I already know. Just gonna stick this wire through here. And then we are going to push the bracket. Damn, guys, look at the easy as pie right there. I don't know what I just said, but trust. He got a quarter pounder. He did. That's what I'm saying. I already know it. He got the Travis Scott quarter pounder. Homie is so predictable. All right, guys, before we do any cable management, let me actually plug this in. So we want to look for the fan headers. Which it looks like all of them. Oh, looks like there is a fan header right here. So let's plug that in. Bam. And then we're going to follow this wire. We're going to untuck this one right here. We will use these to kind of like restrap it up in a bit. Um, but let's see. Can we actually. Yes, we can plug this in right here. Bam, guys. Look at that. And we can tuck this in right there. So the wiring seems a good and sufficient. I'm gonna pull these out just because we want these to be as tight as possible so that cable management is as easy. The, easy, the, the better it is, the, the better the experience. We have some zip ties that this comes with, but let's get ready for the moment of truth here. Let's let you guys see the front of the PC. This is what it looks like. Bruh. Your B day is in December. Yeah, it is. Mine's in June. Parables is in December. We're taking out this bracket, guys, because we are going to install this bad boy graphics card. So we are almost done, guys. We're just going to install the graphics card. I guess I should have done the power supply, but. Actually, we can actually do that now. It doesn't matter the order if it's all preference. Here's the graphics card. Let's go ahead and push that tab open. I believe we will be using second and third. So let's take out these brackets. Oh. Oops. Take this out. Like I said, guys, for those of you just showing up, don't worry. Got the new Travis Scott burger. Let's go. Dude, I, I told you, Isaiah. Or Parable. I, I knew he was going to get that. Less over here saying chicken nuggets. Yo, wish. Sorry if I yelled. That was too loud. All right. So we're going to take this cover off. Just throw that there. We're going to snug this in. Sorry guys, it's kind of hard to do it at this angle, but I want to show you guys. Push it in. Bam! Snapped into place. Would you look at that stream? Would you look at that? Alright, so we're going to get those same two screws that we uninstalled right now. All right, stream. I can't do this backwards, but you guys see the deal. There's the graphics cards. Let me go ahead and just flip this over so that, that way I can screw this on. Wait. 
We got one screw in. Let me just get the second one in. Got caught lacking on stream. I'm in a Discord call with him. Ha. Bam, guys. Would you look at that? Look at this PC. Got a 6-core processor, 1650 Super, B450 MSI motherboard, NZXT H510 with two case fans. We moved one of them to the front, and we're keeping one as the exhaust to allow that hot air uh, to come out. Uh, but let's go ahead and put this to the side. Oh. And let's get this 500 gigabyte power supply here. can actually sit down for this one all right oops get the box cutter just makes it easier on getting things removed I don't know what you're saying but cool what oh like the PC part you're talking to me I thought you're talking to parable for a second that's fine I'm really That's fine if nobody understands what I'm saying. I'm sure there's, when I upload this to YouTube, there's always going to be that one person that knows about PCs that will know exactly what I'm saying. Redeemed run an ad. Yo, Parable or mods, can I? Looks like we. I got to follow the channel points. If you guys can just run that real quick. Just make sure not to do it too long. Try to keep it short here. So, bam got this open once again get another booklet we don't need that we already know how to use this now this is not a full modular power supply just because it wasn't in their budget here and we wanted to make sure they didn't get something bronze so we will put that there but it is all black no mustard cables allowed the cooldown is active all right uh, we got a wape Hyperion. Sorry about that. Don't want you guys to think I'm not following my channel point. I try to. We'll, we'll run an ad in a bit. How about that? So bam. All the wires we need here. Power supply there. Let's go ahead and move this to the side. And we will actually turn this just like that. So that, that way you guys can see me. Like I said, guys, uh, we've been streaming for about an hour and 13 minutes. We're pretty much done. This is just the last step. A couple cable managements. PC builds usually take me about an hour to an hour and a half. Um, if I am using more of a complex case or like complex part or high ender parts, um, I do take a little bit longer on those just because... Um, parts are bigger or cable management is a lot more especially when they start adding a bunch of fans and like the rgb you have to like wire a whole bunch but sb yeti that's big yes sir 38 ounces got the shine bright gaming logo right there all right guys let's take a look at this so let us put this power supply in. Oh, there's a fan on power supply, guys. Make sure this is always facing the ground because the cases, like I mentioned earlier, have filters. And you want the case or you want the power supply to intaking fresh air from the bottom of the case. You don't want it to be taking all the air from the inside uh, going down to you don't want to give it hot air. Hot air is bad even for humans because then we start to complain all right remember those four screws that i told you guys were going to be important these are it right here uh perf it's a perfect fit for the power supply so let's go ahead and get these crack in here what time is it all right 131 not too bad same thing with uh, the power supply guys. I like to always do opposite ends. You want equal pressure 
equal pressure you guys because if you don't if you pretty much go ding 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 usually by the time you get to the last one it's like super hard to install or it's like really crooked so just always be cautious of that ah. so we're doing we did top left now we are doing a bottom right PC Hey Ben, 1K. Um, actually, this is my first stream ever doing a PC build. I usually do them uh, in the background for my clients. Uh, but pretty much this is a 6 core uh, Ryzen 5 3600. Um, we have a MSI 16 or 1650 Super, 4 gigs. We have a 500 gigabyte M.2. Uh, this is a Wi-Fi motherboard uh, for my client, just so that they have that there. Um, but I don't have the specs with a bot I, I did forget to put that so thank you actually for putting that so that that way um, I remember next time moving forward I really do appreciate that I'm actually kinda glad that you did do that if you can do it more yeah I, I do plan um, lately I've I probably done a dozen builds without streaming them I have some of them recorded I just haven't edited them but I think I'm actually gonna start doing the streaming more when I do have people wanting to uh, build PCs or want me to build PCs for them I think I am gonna do that but thank you for the feedback I do appreciate it I will next time add the bot or edit it so that when people do come in last minute they can know uh, specs okay I follow you yeah thank you for the follow I appreciate it there thank you very much all right so let's go ahead and unsnap unwind these wires so that that way we can get them to go so we have pretty much the motherboard right here hold on guys So we are going to cut the, oh, you guys can't see. Let me move this. Holy cow, it's a lot heavier than what it was before. So we'll get the motherboard one right there. This requires a six pin. So we'll get a PCIe plug-in. This is for the CPU. So I will route this at the top. Hold on, guys. Just got to route this to the top here. And then uh, right now, the zip ties are going to start to come in handy because this is where it kind of gets messy with all these wires. Let's see what we have here. We have a VGI, okay, PCI, perfect. We have a SATA one, which we do not need. So we can actually tuck this one back in right there. I know you guys can't see this, but just trust me. Another SATA cable with Molex. So we'll get this VGA strap. Believe it or not, guys, this is actually a lot neater. You can tuck all these wires back in. Let's get this one out. Oh. Okay. So are you going to be using a six slot here? Oh, we actually need a little bit more room. So we are going to snap that in. Bam, just like that. And then we gotta get the motherboard one. I'm gonna plug this in. Oops, sorry guys. I'm trying to like show you guys without having to move so much. Let 
Oh my gosh, guys. I'm trying not to get frustrated. It's just so difficult at this angle. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Is this like rocket science or something? Alright, I think I got it. Here, how about this? <laughs> so difficult. Got the Valcords logo right there on the SB jerseys, guys. Let me just lay this down just to make it a lot easier. Perfect. So now we can snap this into place. Perfect, and now we're getting the CPU plug-in, and then I will show you guys the final touches. Where is the, oh, I think this one I can actually stand. So you want to make sure this gets routed back there. Sorry guys, it's so hard to see. I promise I don't struggle this much. It's just I'm nervous right now. Perfect. Alrighty, guys. We are now done with all the power cables. So now we just have to tuck these in. Hi, Perion, you should stream yourself making bracelets. You need a helmet light. <laughs> yeah. It's always the lighting, isn't it? All right, guys, just installing these brackets down. We have all the power cords plugged in. So now that we have all the power cords plugged in, we're pretty much uh, done. We well, Actually, we are done. Um, it's just final a couple of wires here and there. Um, and then, of course, just routing uh, these wires to make sure that um, they are as optimal as possible. Let me grab... Where's one more wire? Okay. Sorry, guys. I'm just looking for one wire here. Perfect. All right, so I got this little converter here. Oh, we got that moving. Hold on, guys. Let me fix that. All right. Cool, cool. All right. Let me just get some water. Like I said, guys, we are done. We are just, Jonathan, where are my chicken nuggets? I don't have any, Amberly. All right, guys. So we're just going to zip tie a few of these wires here. Don't 
Don't worry, I will actually show you guys this cable management. It's gonna be OP. It's gonna be insane. Your brother got chicken nuggets. Had chicken nuggets. Dang. Who's ratting out? Who back there? Sorry guys, just untangling these wires back here. And then that way I can show you where, what goes where. All right, so we got an HD audio cable. This is for uh, the audio on the case. So I'm gonna actually, hold on, let me just make sure this corner's cleared. So I'm actually going to tuck this in from the bottom right here. Uh, there is a port that says uh, audio, so pretty much self-explanatory HD audio on this little connector and then down there it does say audio as well so let's go ahead and plug that in and bam like that guys that's it we are done with that sorry the tables in the way Sorry guys, I'm just trying to cable manage back here so that that way you guys can see what I have done. Now we have a 3.0. Uh, this one is also self-explanatory on the motherboard. It literally specifies 3.0. Um, so we will do that. Now I actually need to make sure that I can get this converter here. Hold on guys, almost done. Sorry, I'm slowing down. This is just the part that you need, that I need the most patience with. Okay. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and lay this down just so I know where all my plugs are going to be going. And yes, I am wearing basketball shorts with an SB jersey. But that is fine. Alright, so let's see. USB 3.0 is down there. So we will plug this. Perfect. And then I actually need this plug converter here so that that way the USB-C is functional. Give me chicken nuggets. You guys and your chicken nuggets, man. Y'all are crazy. So we don't need this sticker here. So let's actually take that off. Ow! Poor sticker. Alright, so I pretty much got everything plugged in. So we got the 3.0 extension. Oh yeah, that does go this way. Perfect. Oh, we have the, the case connector guys. I forgot to about these right here. 
these are pretty much uh, what you plug into the motherboard to get the the PC to power on. There you go. Pretty much just plug these in. I kind of like that NZXT uses the this like extension because it actually makes it a lot easier to kind of like power it on. So we're gonna do plus and minus. Then you do the PWSW and then the HD right underneath, beneath it. And bam. But yeah, this is pretty much it guys. This is of course the PC build. Um, I actually don't like the way this looks. Alright, so cable management is the last thing, as you guys can tell. Not that many cables, they're all routed right here, which we can get a zip tie for. And we can just zip tie that. And bam, get those snugged in. This guy's I'm gonna do pretty much off camera here just cause those will take a while, but there you guys go. And bam, there you guys go. This is a PC build here. Um, if you guys were wondering, um, if you guys are wondering about any of the parts or anything like that, just remember, yo, what is up, Velo, and welcome to the stream. Uh, this is going to be uploaded to the YouTube here, um, so I will do that. Uh, am I going to turn it on? I'm actually not, just because I have to do a couple of other things uh, in terms of like rerouting the wires. I just don't want to take up too much time here. Um, but yeah, pretty much this is the back here. Let me show you guys the front. So there is the front here. And bam, guys, this is the first stream PC that I've ever done. So thank you guys for stopping by. I will turn it on, uh, but that is going to be something for my YouTube channel. So if you guys want to see it powered on, um, it is going to be on YouTube. Um, YouTube.com forward slash uh, charisma. Do it more, dude. Yeah, I will. I do plan on doing more PC builds. The more clients I get, the more that I will do. Um, but yeah, hopefully next time we can do maybe use the AIO or use another case. This customer uh, did want more just all black kind of. I do know the graphics card does have minimal RGB, but uh, pretty much that's we're, we're kind of going for an all black theme. Uh, obviously, uh, this is just the graphics card that does have a little bit of RGB, but don't worry, guys. This is um, not my, f my only... Uh, PC stream build that I will ever do. I will obviously do some more in the future. Um, I'll try to do more. I'll try to get a different bit of a setup. I'll try to maybe purchase another camera so that that way we can get you guys an aerial view when I'm working inside of the case. Or maybe even like a GoPro for my head. I don't know. Maybe it will be in the works here. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this stream here. Thank you guys for stopping by. Thank you guys for all the f new follows. Thank you guys for the bits. Thank you guys for redeeming some points for ads here. There's another one, Veloni. Um, but yeah, thank you guys. If you guys do want to see this PC powered on, make sure to check out my YouTube. Um, if one of you guys can type in exclamation mark uh, YouTube there, uh, there will be a link to my YouTube channel. Um, but yeah, yo, Veloni, thank you for the 100 bits. I do appreciate it. Guys, don't forget to um, 
make sure that you do follow my YouTube so that you guys can see this uh, build powered on. Maybe I might get some B-roll uh, rolling there. Might edit it. Might just upload the stream all at once. But I will for sure edit the PC once it is on. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for a wonderful stream. I really do appreciate it. Um, I, I do. Thank you guys for stopping by. Um, if you guys have questions, feel free to let me know on YouTube comments. Um, but yeah, thank you guys. I appreciate it a lot. Be lonely with the one, another 100 bits pog times too. Um, also too, guys, thank you guys for helping me average around 20 viewers. Um, I did see it peak up to around 22, so I do appreciate it. I like doing these. I love uh, building PCs here. They're they're fun. They're relaxing. Um, I enjoy them a lot. But don't worry, guys. This won't be the last uh, PC build that I do on the uh, Twitch channel here. I will be doing more. Of course, primarily it is going to be gaming. I do game a lot on uh, Fortnite. Um, I do some COD and I do Valorant. Um, but thank you guys for stopping by. I'll catch you guys later. Here's the one last look at the PC. Yo, one last thing. Parable, thank you for the 500 bits. I do appreciate it. I was about to end it. I just saw it. I don't want you to think I missed out on that. But thank you for the 500 bits, my guy. Also, Hyperion with another 10 bits. I appreciate you guys. Um, but for reals, we're, we're going to end it. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. Um, catch the rest of the video and it being powered on on YouTube. All right, guys. Peace.